Currently, our Canada population, while we don't know the exact number, it's somewhere estimated under 230. And majority of that population is all in South Florida. That population, as it continues to grow, they're going to need more space. So panthers have pretty large ranges. And in fact, they, they, especially the males, have territories. And so one threat we see to Florida panthers is something they call intraspecific aggression. Basically, if panthers are squeezed into an area that's too small, they'll fight each other and can even kill each other. When we put the squeeze on panthers with our development, it's not just destroying places to live. It's not just creating roads that create a risk of them getting hit by cars. It's not bottlenecking them into the South. It's also this risk of just squeezing them together to the point where they can't even live with each other. So there's a large plan for the state of Florida to have a connecting corridor all the way from the North to the South so that it's conservation land that animals, not just panthers, but all animals can travel throughout the entire state and not have to worry about that human animal conflict. At the Florida Department of Transportation, you know, we are uh, adding many wildlife crossings throughout our district and across the state, again, to help protect endangered species such as the, the Florida panther. And in order to, to help, you know, get them off the endangered species list, we have to cross them, you know, cross the Clusiachie River and get them, you know, to expand northward. We have mostly underpass crossings where the, the road goes up and over and wildlife go underneath. And then with that, we have several different design types. It could be just a culvert, uh, which is, you know, just a, a box culvert. We could do a larger bridge or a bridge that has shelves on both sides that allow the wildlife to use either side of a, of a river or a creek that, that may be there. So we've done several of those different design types. So I think the Florida Wildlife Corridor is an incredible blueprint that we've set up. It's identified the most important places that we need to protect for large, far-ranging species like the panther. But it's important to note that that corridor isn't fully protected yet. It's a vision. And so it's really important that we take that vision and we pay attention and our local governments and our state governments adopt smart growth policies to make sure that we can continue to grow and support our human populations. It could benefit a lot of rare and really incredible species we have here in the state. We would love for them to continue throughout the entire state of Florida. Um, it'd be amazing to see them go back to their natural range all the way to Louisiana, but we definitely need to start right here in Florida. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.